Hi guys and welcome to our next video. This video is quite important and I'm going to explain and demonstrate what information can we get from a robot.txt file, uh, why does it occur, why does uh, every possible website has a robot.txt file and apparently how can it actually use that file in order to, to hack or start hacking. So uh, now let's just explain what's a robot.txt file. Well, basically, we've talked about web servers. I pretty sh I'm sure that you know by now what's a web server. And you know that the web server is working just with files and directories. And basically, most of the web servers and most of the search engines are actually hard-coded to search and accept the definitions from robot.txt file. So now, before we go to robot.txt file, I need to explain what's the CEO or search engine optimization so you get better idea about uh, what the robot.txt file stands for. So basically on the web there are multiple search engines like let's say uh, google.com. You see we, when I type something here I'm pretty much sure that every one of you use Google. We have google.com, we have for example the, the google.com which is the, the search engine of the Tor which claims to actually uh, keep your privacy, they just claim, I'm not sure how, how much they do, but for now they just claim to keep your privacy. We have Bing search, uh, like uh, Bing search, we have Yahoo and so on, we see we have Bing right here, we have a lot of search engines out there, but for now since everyone is using uh, basically Google, we are going to use that in order to actually explain some fundamental stuff. Uh, so here this do not depend on any operational system as you can see I'm using Kali but uh, this do not depend on any operational system because the web browsers and the search engines are quite the same for any OS out there. So now let's explain what's the CEO. Let's for example actually uh, type something inside let's say in for cyber. When we type something we want a result from the search box from the search engine. So for example, if I'm working for uh, working for the, the website of InforCyber, we need to type the InforCyber in the search box and therefore we need to actually navigate and see if the results get us a uh, needed output. So basically, we are actually searching for something, we go there, search for some keywords, search for some words, see the results and see if they are compatible with our needs. So this is the basic idea of search engines to 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 help us uh, crawl and search for information because, for example, we don't need to know anything. And there are a lot of questions that uh, you can ask here. For example, uh, weather. And there is a correction right here, and we see the weather in Sofia will be 13 Celsius and so on. So basically, we can search for the weather, for the for sports, we can search for games, for videos, for information, for websites, and so on. So keep in mind, all the the search actually outputs are basically website. We see we have weather.com, we have uh, iqweather.com, and so on. So basically any search uh, displayed out there, any search variation or output is basically a website. And so the search engine optimization is basically how the websites are ranked in search engines. So basically uh, we see the where.com is the first one that we see as a website. And basically that uh, website where.com has uh, like very high search engine optimization. So basically, it's appeared in rank one in when we type weather. So uh, this is basically how the website represent and rank themselves in basically the search engines. Let's go and try with Bing.com. Let's say uh, Bing.com and go for uh, weather. Now we see we have weather.bg. Therefore, we have AccuWeather. So now the results are quite different not that much of a difference but quite different so basically we have another records here using another search engine let's start with the go and here we have where.com where.gov so basically you see that using uh, different search engines can give us uh, 
uh, some different kind of results. So when we search for a question or something like that, everything that appears are just websites. And search engine web optimization or SEO is that thing that uh, ranks the website, sees how much the websites are ranked higher in the search engine, so they are easier to actually for search engines to search to find the website. So higher SEO score means that your website is going to be more visible, it's going to be easier to find, and uh, most of the search engines is going to uh, have no, no troubles of finding your website. And people do not need to go and scroll to the other pages, which basically no one does that. Uh, be, be actually honest, when you go to Google, you don't scroll to uh, the second and third page and so on. So you want to find the result in the first one. And when the result do not come, you basically modify the question without actually going to other pages. So uh, here, the CEO is just that how your website is ranked, how it's represented, and uh, how the search engines are finding and accessing your website. And keep in mind that any website has some CEO score which is different, and for every search engine, this CEO score is ranked differently. And uh, this CEO score is, is mainly defined by keywords, hashtag, and backlinks, which actually refers to people. And that's why the search is constantly changing, because they depend on traffic, they depend on people, and so on. So basically, Google and other search engines, by keywords, they know that your site exists, but by backlinks, they they know how much they can rely on your site, how trustworthy is it. So this is basically what is the CEO, and now it's time to explain what's a robot.txt file. So basically, let's go to BWAP and uh, see the robot.txt file, 192.168.104, BWAP. Let's see what we got. Click login, go to bug, and scroll down to robots file. Click hack. And we see a typical example of a robot.txt file. As you can see, it's structured pretty easy. It has a, a user agent, it has allow or disallow, and folders. So now, uh, let's just start from the beginning. Robot.txt file is just a file which actually indicates what pages or files can be or cannot be accessible by search engines. So the robot.txt file is basically a file which uh, functioning for like a firewall for search engines. It's like blocking content or allowing content to be displayed in search engines. So basically, you don't, you do not want to actually search engines to crawl your login page. You do not want search engines to crawl your uh, internal pages and so on. So basically, there's a page that. Uh, the, that the search engines can crawl and cannot crawl. And simply by actually setting the robot.txt file, you can say what page uh, can be either crawled or not crawled by any search engines. You see, we can actually specify a user agent, which can be anything, which can be Mozilla, which can, uh, which can be like a, uh, the Chrome or Edge. And uh, for example, we can block or allow content only for that specific uh, user agent. So in the previous video we saw what's the user agent and uh, now you better understand, you can better understand what means to block content for user agent. So here we have typical example user agent uh, and the star means basically a user agent. Uh, we can disallow admin, disallow documents, disallow images and disallow passwords. So basically these directories will not be displayed in any search engines whatsoever. Whenever, you, uh, whenever this site comes online, whenever we host that website, depends on the robot.txt file, the search engines are not gonna crawl or display the specified folders or files. And this is the point of having a robot.txt file. You can basically specify what search engines can look for and what they cannot, which is quite important which is quite important since you want security in your website. And basically, any site has a, uh, has a robot.txt file, even Google. So let's go and, and type uh, google.com, robots.txt. We see the robot.txt file. You see disallow, 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 allow, allow, and so on. 
we have user agent any and therefore come the allow or disallow rules and you see it's pretty much like a firewall we have a user agent uh, let's say this set of IPs or uh, just imagine it like that and we have then disallow or allow specified content and so on every website has a, a robot.txt file because if they do not search engines can go and crawl for important data such as files such as uh, uh, specific specific uh, like login page specific uh, internal page that can be ac accessible but uh, they cannot be visible and so for if you know the page you can access and see the information there so basically that's that stands for the robot.txt file and now and now how can we use this file to basically exploit the target or exploit the machine well basically a robot.txt file is uh, standing for more than gathering information and trying to actually uh, perform an attack vector so what i mean by that if you go to build up we see that the user agent uh, is basically any and it's disallowing the admin disallowing the documents disallowing the images and disallowing the passwords so basically uh the the owner of the site do not want these pages to be actually displayed to us but that means that we can go and access many of the pages and see what information can we extract from there for example we can copy that link and paste it here and specify instead of cm robots specify admin which is one of the pages that uh, is disallowed here so if you press enter we see we have the admin page therefore there is documents and uh, let's change the admin to basically documents and we see we have the documents stored there and this is how we can actually go and check for specific files specific information on any website it's always a good practice to see the robot.txt file it's always a good practice to to analyze every single record out there and for example you are in, you cannot imagine how much information can you extract just by visiting the web pages in any engagement it's it's really uh, good to actually go and visit that robot.txt file and follow any file or anything that it actually uh, allows or disallows in that case we can get really sensitive information like pdfs uh, plans and uh, and just just sensitive files and so on just robot.txt file is a file which is working with search engines in order to to force them not to display or display their content but this can be used for us the hackers to actually see what do they do not want to see and so forth we can go and see just that just that what they do not want to so this how this can be used for exploitation let's say this is more like information gathering when we in the robot.txt file you can know what uh, the web administrator is blocking and therefore you can start visiting the page and see what can we get from there what attacks can we build what uh, attacks can we follow from there and so on so basically this tool is great it's working good because it's basically uh, working pretty well with search engine it's basically disallowing what it needs but uh, on the other hand it can be used by us in order to extract or even research sensitive information so guys this is how you can use robot.txt file i hope this was useful and uh, believe me whenever you go to engagement and try like to build an attack vector and gather information robot.txt file is the first place to go whenever you see there's a web app because any of the web apps are having robot.txt file and the name robot.txt is just hard coded any web uh, search engine is basically working with that hard coded name and every web server is uh, working with that hard coded name so whenever you search for inf information go for and uh, search for robot.txt from there you can see pages you can see files and you can there build your uh, new attack vectors so whenever you see the web app the first thing you see and go is robot.txt file so I really appreciate you guys for watching and see you in the next video.